evening, everyone. Hey How's it going, Barack? It's going good, Donald. Are we ready to do this Diamond is Unbreakable story arcs tier list? Yes, sir. You bet I am, Barack. Although I gotta say, I've always felt that part four is quite overrated. That's fair, George. I don't think it's as good as most people say it is. Are you either. guys kidding me? Are you serious? It has Koichi and part Hayato and Shizuka. Part four is fantastic. Ah. It's tremendous. Believe me, everyone is saying we it. We know everyone's saying it, Donnie. That's literally the point. Are we're we making. actually just gonna ignore what Joe mm, just said? Yes, part four is so good. Joe, I feel like you like it for the wrong reasons, dude. Sorry, we can't just skim past this. You guys don't like part four? Well, I it's never said that. It's not that I don't like it. I do like it, but a lot of people would rank it as their favorite part, and I just don't get that. Yeah, I like it, but I think like. I think it starts strong, then gets weak, then gets strong in the middle, and then becomes weak again. I agree weak about again? the what weak stuff hearing, at the beginning. Slice of life is utter dog shit, but the second half of part four is literal perfection. See, I just can't agree with that. I wish Daddy Kira would take my hands on God. Aha, Joe, whoa, you absolute whoa. fucking ghoul. What did you just say? Okay, well, after that, I hate part four. Okay, okay, guys, let's save the debating for the list. You're right, you're right, George. Are we ready to begin, fellas? Sorry, just had to recover from that picture of Hayato in the bottom right. I'm ready now. There's just not words. Okay, so we're starting off with the first arc. Jotaro Kujo meets Josuke Higashikata. This covers the first three chapters of the manga, and it specifically details Jotaro, Koichi, and Josuke meeting for the first time. So this doesn't include any of the Angelo stuff? A little bit, but not the actual fight. S tier, Koichi's in it. Joe, Koichi is in almost every arc. You need to cut that out. Okay, whatever. He's not as good as Shizuka anyway. Well, if it doesn't actually include the fight, I'd have to say it's a B-tier arc. I think I agree with Donald, to be honest. This arc is a good introduction to Hosuke's character, what with the whole mocking his hair thing. It's nice to see Jotaro back, and Koichi hasn't done anything annoying or offensive at this point. I think it's a good introduction to Morio and these three key players in the story. Well said, George, but we have to mention the glaring flaw of Araki, for some stupid fucking reason, deciding to make Joseph cheat on his wife. That does suck, yeah. Super out I'm of sure character. Donald finds that quite relatable. Shut up, Barack. You're just salty. There's no black representation this part. What? No, I'm not. The story takes place in Japan, you what idiot. What about Miyamoto Enigma Boy's user? God, he is such a twink. Okay, okay. Can we get back on track? I think I agree with the B-tier placement. It's not the most flashy or in-depth arc, but it serves its purpose of being a fun intro while teasing things to come. Yeah, B-tier is good for me too, guys. All right, we'll put it there and move on. Next up is Josuke Higashikata meets Angelo. This is the battle between Yosuke Jotaro and Angelo. Personally, I would put this arc in S tier. It shows some great character growth for Yosuke in that moment where his grandfather dies and Angelo truly is one of the most terrible villains in Jojo, maybe only behind Chocolata. I agree, Barry. Although I think S tier is a little too high, I think A tier is fair. What's holding it back for you, George? I don't know. I just don't feel like it is an S tier. The resolution to the fight, with Yosuke swallowing a torn up washing glove, feels like a bit of an ass pull, and quite a bit of the fight is them just running around the house. I agree, George, but I feel like that trapped atmosphere lends to the tension of the fight, and yeah, Angelo really sucks, even more than Creepy Joe. Hey, I'm not molesting little boys and killing them. Maybe not the killing part, but uh, yeah. All right, so where do we want to put this? I think A tier is the best spot, Barry. It has some really nice character moments for Josuke, but this is kind of the end of his arc already as most of the development goes to Koichi. Him turning Angelo into a rock at the end was also super satisfying. I agree, Joe. I say we drop it in A like you dropped the economy. A it is. Well, next we have the Nijimura Brothers arc. This is cool. I'd probably say B tier. B? I'm surprised you don't put it in S, George. Bad Company must be your favorite stand. Bad Company must be your favorite stand, Donald, because that's exactly what you are. Damn, Joe kind of cooking. All right, whatever. If it were up to me, this arc would go in A. Okuyasu is a fun character. And the fight between Josuke and Kicho is awesome. A, B, y'all are tripping. This is an S. Bad Company is an awesome stand. And Kicho's smug dickhead personality makes it all the more satisfying to see him get destroyed. Barack, this part doesn't take place in Yemen, you know? The helicopters are unnecessary. I think A is the best spot. There are some touching moments with the dad, and Kicho's death sets up Red Hot Chili Pepper and Okuyasu's arc. Fine, in A it goes. Also, Okuyasu getting hit in the nuts by a plant pot is always funny. Okay, well, the beginning was sick, but this is where I start to lose interest. I fundamentally do not like Koichi, so all these arcs are pretty lame in my opinion. I get that, George, but I don't mind him. I feel like this arc is a C tier either way. The villain is obnoxious, and the, the enemy is obnoxious? is a pretty stupid concept. Kobayashi is always on his business grind set, and I respect it tremendously. The resolution to this arc is literally Koichi telling his mom to believe in him. It's the gayest shit ever. 
Yeah, that's kind of a problem with the Koichi arcs. He's just not a cool character at his core. So all of these moments where he's meant to be cool don't land as hard as if it were Hosuke or Jatar. Agreed. I think we can drop it in C and move on. Wait, what even is this arc? Joe, for once, I'm not even going to mock you. Surface is one of the most forgettable arcs in all of JoJo. Yeah, seriously, I can't even remember how they beat Hazamata. I think he just ends up getting taken out by two other randoms. I don't know, I feel like this is an E. Super forgettable. Hazamata is just a little shit, and it only exists to bring in this idea of stand users attracting other stand users. Yeah, I, uh, I think E is fair. No one really cares about this arc. I actually forgot it. Well, that's not surprising, Joe. God, I fucking hate this arc. F. Wow, George, that's a bit much, don't you think? I can agree that the Yukako arcs on average suck. The second one is way worse. You guys have lost it. They're so cute. Ah! My fucking ears. God. Anyway, yeah, I don't like these arcs. But the second one is an actual fucking travesty. And if that one didn't exist, I wouldn't mind this on its own. You guys own. must be blind. This is an S-tier arc. They're so cute. I suppose cute. you all are right. This arc isn't too bad because it ends with Koichi acknowledging how fucking nuts she is. But I have to take the second one into consideration, and because of that, the highest I can go is E. Yeah, that's fair. I think that Yukako is a pretty shitty character, but this arc focuses more on Koichi overcoming it than glorifying her stalker behavior like the next one. And Koichi even pisses himself like Joe. Fuck you guys, this is an S tier. Well, let's take Joe's opinion into account and put it in D. Is that okay, George? Sure, that works. Let's go eat some Italian food is next. F tier, what a waste of everyone's time. It sets up Tonio and he's never important again. I kind of agree with Donald here. Now nah, what? I mean, this arc is just not that Dido. interesting or important. It's nice having Josuke and Okuyasu together, but nothing this arc does is really that exciting. D tier? I don't know, I think it's a B tier personally. Sure, it's not that important or anything, but it's a fun little break from the action and Tonio actually being wholesome was cool. That's the thing, George. Also, there's been no Pearl action Jam being since a non-offensive stand was a cool concept. And this is more shitty slice of life, F tier. I say you, we compromise at C tier, guys. I agree with George at B. It's a fun, goofy arc, and it isn't meant to be much more. All right, I'll put it in C. Next is Red Hot Chili Pepper, S tier. I love that band. Joe, we're not ranking them based off of how much we like the bands, you malnourished wretch. But yeah, I gotta say, this is an S tier. Finally, we make some progress in the story. Okuyasu getting his moment to shine was cool, and Akira is a badass. Agreed, Donald. I don't agree I to be honest. I especially like the part where Koichi is crying over Okuyasu's death, and Hosuke and Yotaro are just like, shut the fuck up, you little bitch. I don't think that's exactly what happens, but yes, Koichi is so adorable, I want to gobble him up. What the fuck? Anyway, I think Akira is pretty cool, and both parties use some really creative tactics throughout the fight, like Josuke trapping him in the tire. I also like the sneak peek of Kira the anime added. True, Donald, true. We're all saying S. What about you, George? Nah, I don't know, guys. I think it's a B. Oh, here he comes. Here comes party pooper George. I'm so surprised. Wow, so crazy, so crazy. Listen, Donald, I like it, but not S-tier worthy. What's wrong with it, George? The first half where it's Okuyasu fighting him is way better, in my opinion, and feels like a payoff to all the buildup. Then the second half, it just feels like a generic stand battle. And I think that this arc out of all of them was Okuyasu's time to shine. That's fair, George. I do that. agree also, that Okuyasu in should have been four. more involved, not just punching Akira at the end. I think we can compromise at A. But, but, but Koichi, though. Jesus Christ, you old senile bitch. No one cares about Koichi. Next is we picked up something crazy. Goddamn, shit like this makes me get why Donald hates slice of life. Mommy's tear. I love the baby. Joe, you gremlin. I'm just going to ignore that completely because, oh my fucking God, yeah, this arc is an F tier. Agreed. Nobody wanted to watch Joseph shopping for baby products. Shit is so fucking boring. Our first F tier, I suppose. Shizuka is super pointless, and Joseph slitting the wrist on his prosthetic hand was stupid as hell. You clowns! You fools! You utter gremlins! It's an S tier. I love Shizuka. Let's take Joe's detestable opinion into account and drop it in E. Yeah, that works. Next we got, let's go to the manga artist's house. I think this is our first S tier, boys. Rohan is probably the best character in part four, and he improves any I agree, he starts off super creepy, and although he's just a dick after this arc, I think he's established really well as a villain who could reasonably become an ally. Yeah, he is really creepy when he's licking that spider. Heaven's Door is an awesome stand, and the beatdown at the end is probably my favorite beatdown in part four. Yeah, Koichi's here, but he's not doing anything annoying, and Hyosuke's backstory is cool. Did you guys know that Hyosuke traveled back in time and saved his younger self? Joe, you idiot, he did not do Stop that. fighting. 
I'm putting it in S if there aren't any objections. That works for me. Rohan is a great character. Drop it in S like you drop bombs on Middle Eastern children, Barack. Next is Let's Go Hunting. To be honest, I think this is probably a B-tier arc. It's nice to see Yosuke shine, and I like the duo of him and Jotaro. You know what? I agree, Joe. The user being a rat is a bit stupid, but I don't really care. It makes for a fun battle. Can't forget about the grotesque body horror. That's what Baghdad looked like in 2003. Okay, bro. Yeah, cool. Just put it in B. Rohan Kashibe's adventure. This is a B tier, in my opinion. The, the story is finally actually starting, which is nice. I feel like C is fair. Rohan's here, which is cool, but this arc only exists to set up things that will be important later. Finally, C and Kira is nice as well. I think C works. I never really cared for Raimi, but as you say, at least we're finally making progress in the story. The beginning of part four is slower than Joe, I swear. C, are you kidding? This arc is so fucking stupid, I swear to God, it's literally just Rohan and Koichi walking in an alley. Like, who the fuck cares about this boring-ass bullshit? I wish I could have been some of those hands that got to fondle Koichi like, damn. This is criminal. I'm putting it in D. This shit is so boring. Harvest, huh? I don't think we need to say much here. This arc is the epitome of mid. S-tier. It's all about money. Donald money doesn't change the fact that Shigechi is so fucking annoying, I swear. Yeah, Shigechi sucks, but I think it was done on purpose. This arc is average either way. I say D. That's cool with me. Oh, God. Jesus Christ, can we just skip this? Oh, yeah, this? baby. It's my favorite arc. Let's go. Ah! Oh! Uh, Yukako Yamagishi dreams of Cinderella. Firstly, does anyone except Joe think this arc is good? Yes, I do, baby. Nope. So cute. You could remove this arc and part four would be better. Yukako and Koichi have absolutely zero chemistry. And the fact that Araki made them get together completely fucks up the last arc. Seriously, this arc is so fucking repugnant. The message it conveys is if you stalk and kidnap someone, it'll be okay. As long as you change your appearance to match their taste. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Why would Koichi get with her out of nowhere after she kidnapped and tried to it's kill It's called him? love, bitch. <laughs> Joe, nobody here agrees with you. This arc glorifies and justifies stalker behavior, and the romance between Koichi and Yukako is utter dog shit. It's not a romance, Barack. It's pushing two like magnets together. Put this shit in F. That's the only spot this shit deserves. Next up is a truly goaded arc. Yoshikage Kira just wants to live quietly is a perfect introduction to the best villain in the series. Valentine better plus coat plus no stand. That's not what we're here to debate, but yeah, I agree. This arc has to go into S. Having it take place from Kira's perspective is an awesome way to get to know him. His misadventures trying to get his bag back are really funny. And the ending almost makes me feel bad for Shigechi. Almost. Joe, what the yeah, fuck well, I'm not a fan of Kira or mainly what the story does with him. I can't deny that this arc is amazing. Killer Queen's introduction and Kira's speech are iconic. S tier. Don't you mean Deadly Queen, George? Never fucking say those vile cursed words again. I'm putting it in S. What about the limp biscuit guys? Joe, do not. Sheer heart attack. I say A. More Kira, which is nice, but not as good as the last arc. Jitaro's line about making his face ugly is sick. A, I don't know, B. B, it's an S. I mean, are you forgetting the part where we see Koichi's toes? I say S as well. Kira's escape is super clever and an amazing moment in the story. I don't know. Koichi is at his worst in this that arc. Part where he, he almost gets Kira Jotaro killed by being cringe. stubborn and defiant and comes across like an asshole. Also, I think we should have got more time with original Kira before he got bodied like this. The story could have ended if Okuyasu had just used the hand while Kira was don't running. Don't place that expectation on our best boy, Joe. I'll compromise it, A, but it deserves S. Can't agree at all. Adam Hartfather is next. I think Kira's dad is a negative force on the story, and he only exists to make it longer. Not to mention, this fight is just kind of trash. I hate this arc. There's spooky ghosts. What about Raimi, Joe? Raimi is super sexy. Jesus Christ, she's a little girl, Joe. Holy fuck. Barack just put this in D. The fight is literally resolved by Jotaro taking a photo. Uh, what's this arc? This is Yoshikage Kira's new situation. It serves to reintroduce Kira as well as Shinobu and Hayato. Hayato? He's my favorite! Jesus fucking Christ, Joe, you creepy fuck. Joe, okay, well, I think this arc is as average as it comes. I fucking hate Hayato, but he hasn't done anything awful yet, except spying on his parents. Put it in C. C sounds good. Any objections? I love Hayato's tear. Hey! Nah, bro, that's sus as hell. Oh, dear. Rock, paper, scissors boy is coming. 
This is, I won't say anything, Sus. I don't like him. He's a This arc is super fun, just overblowing rock, paper, scissors. This much is hilarious. Damn, that is an egregious take. This arc is an E tier. Rohan's cool, but Ken Oyanagi is so fucking irritating. I agree, Barack. Seeing Rohan punch him was funny as fuck. George, you gotta back me up. It's an A. I agree with the other two, Donald. This arc is super pointless and a waste of time. You fucking rhino, George. The bit where Rohan comes down like an angel is hilarious. Next is I'm an alien. Back to the slice of life. God, why is there so much slice of life in this part? Slice of life, just when I thought we'd escaped, it's back. To be fair, I think this is one of the more fun slice of life arcs in the part. The relationship between Yosuke and Rohan is great. It's interesting to have two main characters actively dislike each other. That's true, George, and the confusion about whether or not Hazakura is actually an alien creates some funny moments, but I don't think this arc is all that special or amazing. I think B-tier is fair. F, aliens are scary. Just ignore him. If I'm being fair, I think C-tier is a reasonable spot. This arc is hella mid. Yeah, that seems fair. I'd put it higher, but I can live with it. Highway star. Now this is a goaded fight. Yuya is such a badass like me. That's some blatant cap. I like Yuya and Rohan, and this is one of the only arcs in the part where Hosuke actually feels like the main protagonist through and through, that you are already healed moment is awesome too. Super I agree, guys. Fun. Koichi is an obnoxious shit again, but he isn't too prominent. This is a really good stand battle, in my opinion. I just wish Hosuke and Rohan had actually bonded at the end. Why does George want Rohan and Yosuke to smash so bad? Bro is tripping for real. Shut up, Joe. I don't want that. I'm not you, creep. Let's get back on track, guys. I, I think this arc actually belongs in S. A super cool fight with some fun moments and genuine tension. I think S is reasonable. I really like this fight. I don't know about S. I don't feel like it's better than Angelo or Chili Pepper. Put it in A. Daga Kotawaru. Okay, fuck me, I guess. Cats love Yoshikaj Kira. This arc is so boring, I actually wanted to fly it out into the desert and unleash an unholy torrent of drone strikes onto it. I don't think it's that bad, Barry. I think it's probably a B tier. Sets up Stray Cat for later on. Yeah, George, but that's all it does. This arc is mad boring, and I can't agree with what you said at all. I agree with Barack. This is like a D tier. I don't care about Shinobu or this dumb cat. Not to mention that stupid fucking part at the end where Hayato redirects the air bubbles like some sort of child genius that is so fucking ridiculous even for jojo oh shit i forgot about that yeah this is where hayato starts becoming the actual bane of my existence drop this in fucking d harder than donald is begging for his charges to be dropped glad to see you've come around george this arc doesn't do anything awful but it's super boring and irrelevant okay let's quick fire through the july 14th arc starting with let's live on a transmission tower this arc is mid as hell. Superfly's a really dumb stand, even if it is funny. C tier. Agreed, slap it in, kick. Enigma. I think this is an A personally. I would smash the fuck out of Miyamoto, no cap. Oh Jesus, nobody asked Joe. Put it in B, it's not on the same level as our other A tiers. Cheap trick. It's fun seeing Rohan, but the stand is really fucking annoying. Agreed, the ending is satisfying though. Also there's that super out of character moment where Koichi doesn't believe Rohan, which is dumb. I think D is fair. D works for me in more ways than one. <laughs> my dad is not my dad. Mid, nice to see some focus on Kira again, but it's not super interesting. D tier. I agree with D. Hayato has become weird at this point, but it's clear the conclusion is coming. That scene in the bath is. Oh, awful. yes, I love the bath scene. Oh. F tier. I hate Hayato. And this arc is the beginning of the end of part four for me in more ways than one. Fuck this arc. That bath scene is repugnant. Highest I can go is E. Next is Bites the Dust. What do we think? Amazing. Truly creates this hopeless feeling and is super intense. Bites the Dust is so iconic and Rohan's death is heartbreaking. It's tear. Rohan's death would be heartbreaking if it wasn't immediately fucking undone. It's obvious Hayato's not gonna lose, so there isn't any actual tension, and this hyper-genius kid has pushed me to my fucking limit at this point. Geez, well, we know how to trigger George. Just mention Hayato. George, you're just a part four hater. Bites the dust is so good. It's tear no capalapa. Sorry, George, I agree with them. The feeling that Kira has truly won is gut-wrenching and sets up the finale so nicely. It's a shame that the finale doesn't deliver on any of those feelings at all. I say D tier. No one agrees with you, George. Let's put it in A to compromise. This is it, boys, the final battle. What do we think? I actually agree with George that this doesn't deliver on the expectations that BTD set up. That's fair. I think it's one of the weaker final battles in JoJo. Finally, my time has come. What do you mean? 
This arc fucking sucks. The final battle is just Yosuke and Kira running around and glaring at each other. Hayato is so fucking annoying. He has no idea how stands work and is able to figure out that Yosuke can save him if he blows himself up by touching Okuyasu. Okuyasu just decides to be alive again and the fight ends with a boring ass Jotaro beatdown. Fuck this arc and fuck Hayato. Wow, I agree it's not great, but damn. The ambulance ending is cool though. I need some time to recover after that. Put it in B, that's a good spot. Yeah, it's a pretty mid fight, I agree, but uh, George, you okay? I will concede B. Well, that's it, boys. I think we've made a pretty good list. Agreed, I'm gonna take a nap now, bye. Uh, abrupt, later, guys. Bye. I'm okay. <laughs>